So, <clears throat> we're in snuggy weather now. You have to bundle up. Um, apparently, we're in Fudasi, not Korokula. That said, there are some similarities, and I'm going to go into it. Also, the European version and where John Lamb Lash is is different than where we are. So we may be in Karakula, but they're so close, 13 to 14 respectively, on the uh, Shakti Cluster app. It, the, the difference is that um, the Snake Tamer Vudasi is closer to the inside on a petal, whereas Karakula is in the Akajati's plate. So let's just talk about both of them, both. Um, cheers to that. Because both of them, as are um, these, uh, gosh, powerhouses, they're able to help counter the black magic that is done to you, O oh human. If you're of Indo-European descent, if you're especially of, like, white origins like I am, um, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, because we do have a very special predicament upon us. <laughs> I'm not going to specify. You figure it out. You fill in the blanks. So, um, the snake t tamer of Vudasi, I find that very, very interesting, the snake tamer. Um, she actually is able to allow true magic, earth medicine, um, for whatever is the antidote to what, what you need. And remember that any medicine that can heal can also kill. So if you overdo something that's good for you, it could do the opposite. Um, I'm not going to speak to you about, of course, the Earth cycles. We're getting close to Teol, and we're in dark, increasing darkness. We're going to be having the full moon soon, but we're increasing darkness. So I actually have been talking about celebrating the Earth, and following the natural cycles, etc., and recognizing that our old ways were stolen from us by way of reformation, like thumbs were taken off. Like, you'd have your thumb chopped off. It wasn't just your... It could be your thumb, and then the next... Which meant you didn't have the ability to grasp and pick things up. And then they would take your hand off. So, if you're having any traumatic recollections of this... We're clearing and purging in 2019 to make way for 2020 because this is actually like powerful, magical times for the powerful, magical human being, which you probably are. You're not going to be recognized by society. You don't want to be recognized by society. You want to do your thing and do it under the radar. So let me show you this. It's from this book, and again, I'm off, I'm off of Amazon because they didn't reward the small person. They're so greedy. Um, here we have it. So, symbolism, before words and spelling, because words create spelling. Guess what happened? We had the Celtic early medieval alphabet. Let's see how well I can get this to you. Let's see if I can hold that so you can screenshot it. Oh gosh, that's not doing so well. Can I get closer? No, further away, further away. Well, it's nighttime, so we're going to go into all of this. But I want you to see those symbols. I find it interesting that my... I want you to see those symbols. There was 20 of them. And the pronunciation. Here's the cross. Guess what the cross meant before Christianity turned Christ, which he wasn't, that wasn't his name, into a, like, sacrificial lamb. Fucking lamb. Um... It was an A, and it was a silver fir tree, and it was Alm, A-I-L-M, pronounced Alm, 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 
clarity, energy, clear sightedness. So let's take a look at the silver fir in this book. Is the fir tree sacred? All right, where is it? Sacred trees of the Celts. Oh, pff, I'm gonna stop doing that. Okay, fir. A sacred tree of life. A sacred tree. All right. Are you listening? A sacred tree of life and death. Fur. It was the cross. Do you see? That symbol of the cross, which is the sacred tree of life and death, is also Merlin and Vivian's tree, symbol of sovereignty and gift of knowledge. And it was hijacked by the fuckers that then turned Christ into a martyr uh, and as a, a suffering savior which he wasn't interesting huh follow these dots okay where is it fur so in this book I'm going to look it up. Fur. <laughs> this is a good book. I don't have it. Dang. All right. Let's see what else this one says. Um... Silver fir. Huh. That would be a coniferous tree of some kind. What's a silver fir? I'm going to try. Okay. The important thing to note here is that the cross was used to change the symbolism of what it was intentionally created, which is clarity, energy, clear-sightedness. Um, um. By the way, never say amen ever again. Because that's praying to the fucker. That is basically the alien that's taken over our planet. So, no silver fur. Anybody have any information on that? Pass it my way. So I wanted to, um, like, I can't get away from this stuff. Like, I'm still writing. So, oh, speaking of writing, get this. Um, I got together with my girlfriend, um, Carol, who's also writing. So she's writing, I'm writing, she's writing Pink Houses, uh, and I'm writing um, My Girls and Daddy Jacks. Like, basically, it's one book and then the other. And... She loved this part. I was telling, I was talking about dysfunctional submissives that, like, I basically, I looked like Kathleen Turner in Crimes of Passion, and, and uh, this guy, sub, he, this one particular would turn his back and jack up from the corner with the phone still cradled in his ear, and occasionally looking over his right, his left shoulder, actually, um, looking shame, you know, looking shameful. And I would have to say, are you doing what I think you're doing? I have to feign it. You dirty boy. Looking at naked ladies and playing with yourself. So he wanted me to degrade him verbally while he still jacked off but didn't show me. And it was very difficult. <laughs> so that's in the book. 
So there, there you have it. I talked about both things. I talked about the magic and the magnificence of like the um, Dancing Sky Dakinis, and um, I talked about my book. I think that's pretty darn good. And then, now we're going to start realizing that the cross, before we had language, it was a symbol of clarity, energy, and <coughs> excuse me. Clear sightedness. So this isn't the best lighting. I don't look like the most beautiful human being um, on the planet uh, with this lighting. Um, I'm not trying to reveal myself. I'm really not. So you guys stay warm, okay? Um, we're living in fantastic times and uh, keep tissues handy. I was crying earlier um, because I'm remembering myself. Like, I'm actually having a waking of my own genetic material on my own personal level. Ah! Let me show you this. So this also, here is Jesus and Mary Magdalene fucked, okay? <laughs> and he wasn't from... He wasn't from an immaculate conception. Joseph, he had brothers. He had sisters. He had siblings. You don't hear about that. Why not? Why not? I say remove the obstacles. Remove the obstacles that are creating a... Um, are Christians really that stupid? Are they? Apparently they are. Tusk. Uh, 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 Fleetwood Matt. Tusk. But I, th this is not real ivory. It's plastic. This is one of those elephants that they probably carved in Jamaica. I got this at an estate sale for free. <laughs> for, for buying a bunch of old matches. They're like, here, have an elephant. <laughs> like, thanks. So, uh, I'm going to talk to you more about those symbols and symbolism numbers. Um, but we're coming up on the full moon. And we're either, and or in Vudasi. Thank you, individual. You know who you are. Who clued me into that. Box of Dre. And, um... Karakula, either or, you can use this time to create true health for yourself. For me, true health is actually going into my genetic material, diving in and waking up to, um, I feel so exposed. <laughs> it's waking up, uh, awakening my, the, um, my own latent and sleeping um, remembrances. And I'm discovering that because I don't watch TV and because I've been looking at the lunar calendar for a full year plus, a full year since um, the June 21st um, cycle, the summer solstice cycle oh and by the way I spoke with three people last night and I asked them what the first day of summer was and they said June 21st and I said no it's not so learning the old, the truth about our calendar like really understanding if you look at the calendar and you look at how things have been changed the human psyche has been changed because of this calendar human beings no longer know when the first day of summer is, they'll even argue. They'll even argue with you. They'll say, "Yeah, the first day of summer is June 20, 21st. and you'll be saying, "No, it's not June twenty first. That's not the first day of summer." And they'll say, "Well, well, when is it?" You'll say, "It's Beltan. You know, it's May second. <laughs> so yeah, we've been fucked with, um, and it's time to stop that. 
Um, so, you know, I'm going to go be going by the name of Cat um, Woodland Pierce. Take a look at those initials. And that's KWP. And I'm going to be using my energy in a bigger way, on a, in a private level, in my own way of... Uh... Oh, look, that's, that's my guitar case. This is my guitar. I'm going to play her. Oh. Yep, she's definitely a female. I'm going to play her. And wish you guys a good night. And we'll, we'll, we'll definitely talk um, soon. Not sure. Like, I think I'm going to do one thing and then I'll do another. But I'm definitely writing now. I'm writing more and I'm conceptualizing what I'm talking about. And enjoying every second of it. So this book right here, Body Mind Miscellany, has in it this. And that was an eye opener for me. So let's sit together. Talk to you soon. Enjoy the full moon.